Welcome back. I have an AmiAmi Ami package today as well as one extra little thing that I bought a long time ago and showed up a long time ago. I just never got a chance to film it. To start off, I will show you the card that I got. I think I already opened a package that had this exact same card. It's very pretty. They have one every or a different one every month. Now, I didn't buy that much stuff with this package, but like always, they stuff it full of paper so nothing moves, which is good. It just adds a um, bit of a cost to the shipping price, but oh my goodness, I am so excited. I I ordered this package the same day and paid for it, and it was shipped out the same day as another package. That package arrived a week before this one, so I was a little panicked, but I'm so excited it actually arrived because this has something so important that I have been waiting to have for a long time, and it is so beautiful. Now, if any of you watched my anime haul, you will have known that I am a fan of Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. It's an anime series rated R for reasons, so please don't go looking it up if you're not of age, or at least have parental supervision. This is a prize figure. Prize figures are usually cheaper in cost, and usually not as good in quality, but they've gotten really good recently in that department. The, the quality of price figures have gotten a lot better especially for the price that you pay so i snatched this guy up immediately once he got on pre-order he is made by jama i believe or exq maybe maybe that's the company i'll put all that information in the description i'm just really excited to open this and this is the whole reason I have the white background just for this video, because I am going to do a mini review of this. I don't think it's very detailed enough for me to uh, do a full review, and I've been waiting for this figure for a long time, so I don't want to wait to do a um, formal figure review. So I did cut, there's, there's tape on either side, but I cut it on the bottom just to keep the top preserved. There we go. Ooh, it has a cardboard box on the inside. Alright. Wonderful. And let's see. Ooh. Okay. So with these price figures being cheaper or less quality than regular figures, they don't usually include a blister. As far as I know, I've bought one other price figure in the past for someone else, and it came similar to this in just a bag. So let me cut this open. All right, so he comes with a simple black base. There's nothing really special about it. It's just solid black with a matte paint job. It's plastic and it has Sunrise, copyright Sunrise slash Project El Gios, character design 2006 to 2017 by Clamp, Band Presto 2018 made in China. Hopefully you can kind of see that on the camera. Here is Lelouch himself. He is so pretty. There's just something, um, there's just a little thing of bubble wrap in between his coat and his pants so as not to cause, I'm assuming, any transfer. Now right away, I can definitely tell this is a cheaper kind of figure. This definitely feels like really flat, flimsy plastic, similar to what you would get in toys here in the U.S., children's toys. Just really, really thin. Um, cheap feeling plastic. However, the rest of his figure is very solid. He feels really nice, nice and heavy. Not really heavy, but you know. Honestly, the details on him are really, really nice. They're not as wonky as I was expecting. Usually with prize figures, the hands, especially the face and hair, the sculpt is just not as nice or detailed. But um, I have to say they did a pretty good job. Like his hand a little too bended backwards, but truthfully, that's just the Clamp style, if you don't know. Clamp is the creator of a lot of popular series in Japan, and their signature style is really elongated, simple body features. So that's why when you watch the series, you're going to be kind of like, wow, these people are really, really tall and skinny. <laughs> that's just the Clamp style, and fingers are one of those things. Um, if you want to get a good look of what they look like other than Code Geass, they did create Card Capture Sakura and Triple X Holic. You'll notice it as soon as you see it. They're very familiar and recognizable. I am so amazed at the detail in his pants. Not only did they add the striping, 
but they also added a lot of detail in the folds and his shoes look really nice as well. Hopefully you can see some detail on his shoes. They're just really, really nice. And then he has the pegs at the bottom for you to connect him. And like I said, it does feel a little cheaper plastic, but it's cheap enough to where you're not afraid to hold him and move him around, but not cheap enough to where he's just gonna break spontaneously, I think. I think if I dropped him, he would have a chance. <laughs> I especially love the form of this scarf right here. It's really, really well done. And then his face looks beautiful. They did a really good job, I think. So I'm really happy with my purchase. He was quite cheap. I think he was only maybe $20, which is really cheap for a really well done figure, I would think. I love the colors and everything. So let's put him on his base and I will continue with this Amiami package because he is not the only thing that I bought. As I was saying before, his legs are... As I was saying before, the plastic he's made out of is very flexible, especially in the coat, petticoat parts, especially in his coattails and legs. The legs come in very useful because um, the way they added the pegs on the base were a little too far for how he was standing, so just stretch him a little and he should be fine. But there he is on his base. He looks absolutely stunning. I love him. So happy I bought him. Moving on, I also bought a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Now the first thing that I have here are these two sets of stickers, I believe these are stickers, by the cute little penguin character. I, honestly, I can't remember his name. I also bought squishies for him, but I can't for the life of me remember his name right at this moment. So I will put it in the screen somewhere so you guys can know, but I love these. They were really cheap too, I think they were only $2, and you get a good selection and really cute stickers and they're 3D. The next thing that I bought is, I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> so this is the Pop Team Epic Squishy. Now, if you're not aware of what Pop Team Epic is, it used to be this really meme-worthy comic strip series on the internet that turned it got turned into an anime series recently, and it was a huge success. I'm not surprised that they made merch for it. I'm just surprised that there were squishies. It's not, it's actually not as dense as I was expecting. There's licensing on the bottom. But yeah, it's not as dense as I was expecting. However, it is very fast to rise. I mainly wanted it, wow, they even put comic strips on the, on the back. That is really funny. I mainly wanted it because it's just so ridiculous looking. So this has a licensing sticker, which is really nice. Kusosa. Oh my God, is that what I think? Okay, never mind. Children don't watch that. <laughs> All right. Here's what the top looks like. There were three designs, I believe. Each cup had a different color and a different picture and latte art. It's really cute. Yeah, it's very soft. A little dense, but not really. It's easy to squish. It's just fast to rise. And it just smells like plastic, nothing special there. <laughs> All right, moving on. I believe the rest that I bought is just squishies. Um, and it's the series of that little Kopechan, that's his name. So his name is Kopechan, the little penguin guy. And he had a couple squishies released for him. Oh, it comes with an acrylic tag. I did not know that. I can't read what that says, but that's very neat. So this is the little bird friend of this Kopechan, unless that's Kopechan. <laughs> oh, that's actually softer than I was expecting. Now I'm not going to open these because I was planning to put some of these in my shop, but they're really, really cute and they're much bigger than I was expecting to be honest, which is really nice. There he is. Here is Kopechan, same tag, a different dialogue bubble. I'm not sure what that says. Ooh, he was a little denser, but he's really fat and I love him. <laughs> and he can stand on his own. And he does have licensing on the bottom. All right, next, I believe this is the one that I was originally going to keep. 
the tag is a different color I've noticed. Each one has a slightly different color tag, but it has the same stuff on it. And then a different dialogue bubble. This is a really cute one. Oh my god, little feet. That's cute. Yeah, again, pretty dense, but still very cute, I think. And the final one is so the, this one has a pinker tag with this dialog box and it's a pancake. Wow, for it being as thin as it was, I thought this would be the densest one, but it's actually slow rising. Let me see if I can show y'all. It's pretty slow rising. That's shocking. <laughs> really cool though. The last thing I have to open is this Imoto Umaru-chan face swap for Nandroids. It is a pack of six, so it comes with six different faces. At first I wasn't really interested in this. I've never seen this anime. To be honest, the character looks kind of annoying. <laughs> um, but some of the faces with them not having her eyes, I think would fit really well. Um, and you can make a really cool scene with your Nendo, so I bought it anyway. Now, let's see, I wonder if I can open this on the bottom. Well, just to get give you all a good look, that's what the bottom has. It's by Good Smile Company and it just has a translated, um, I guess, info, copyright info on the bottom. Oh no, wait, it's in an advertisement and a warning. Probably not to swallow this stuff. <laughs> and each one comes in a blind box, but you should be getting one of each set if you buy the whole box, so I'm not even going to bother with the blind box aspect of this. Usually with these Nendoroid faces, they all come bubble wrapped with these blind boxes. So here's the first face. Hopefully you can see that. It looks really funny. And I'm just going to rush through this because they're not really that exciting. I've already opened a box like this before and it's just, I mean, they're just faces. Interesting faces, but they're just faces that come in boxes and bubble wrapped. Not that exciting. The next one is, I really like the mouth on this one. It has that little pouty face. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's just the eyes. I may have to, if I ever use these other faces, I'm probably going to have to go into Photoshop and change the color of the eyes for my to fit my Nandroids because otherwise they just look out of place. Here we have a crying face. <laughs> this is a munching face, I think. It kind of looks like the cheeks are expanded and they have something in their mouths. That's a good one. I'm definitely going to use that. Next we have this just general happy one. I think I have a lot of ones like it. So I may just sell this one off. And then the last face, which is good, I got the whole set, is this general happy face with the mouth open. Cute. I don't think I'm going to use that one probably. But that is all of them. And that is it for my Ami Ami haul today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Like always, look in the description for all the information on where to get this stuff.